Now, just a few days ago, we saw the first winners of the first ever mobile film competition. Vodacom has lent its name to the initiative. Let's talk a little further about this uh, from the uh, Josie Film uh, Fest. The uh, founder, Lisa Henry, welcome. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Let me just get this correct. This is a subset of the bigger film festival, am I correct? That's right. right. The Josie Film Festival started last year, and our aim is to provide a platform for local talent and for people telling stories about Joburg. And obviously, we want to reach a great yeah. audience, and we thought, how do we pull in more people? How do we attract the people living yeah. and working and making Joburg tick? So this year, for the first time ever, we had a mobile phone film competition so sponsored by Vodacom. So Lisa, mo movies on phones. Um, perhaps I'm of a different generation. Am, am I sensing a new trend here? Well, I think the way people are interacting with uh, technology is changing. And, mm. you know, we can upload and download and make films on phones mm. now. So why not? You know, the cost of making a film is, is exorbitant to make a film, you know, in a studio with cast and crew. But mm. now we can go onto the streets of Joburg and make a film. Mm. And this is not a, a kind of an, an epic in the Hobbit form or something <laughs> like this. We're <laughs> it's not going to go on for hours, is it? We're looking at something which is fairly short and brief and I presume tells a story as quickly and as succinctly as possible. That's right. The uh, criteria were one to was one to three minute mm. long films. I was actually surprised that we had mostly three minute films. Mm. You know, I'm a filmmaker myself and I know how long it is to fill three minutes. So um, they did very well, the entrance this year. But uh, perhaps uh, next year's competition mm. will see shorter, punchier mm. films. Do we engage with films on a small screen differently to a bigger screen? Of course we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. You know, um, We can do it at home. We can do it on the bus. We can do it in our cars. We can download. Uh, something quick and watch it, you know, um, when you go to the cinemas, you're committing for a couple of hours. So this is a different way that we are choosing to um, access content. Mm. And, you know, I think it's a growth market, mm. you know, it definitely is. Some <laughs> of the content uh, that you observed, what, what, what stood out for you? Well, there was a quite a lot of, I thought, moving little tributes mm. to the city that we live in. Uh, there was one called the Hillbrow Tower that was lovely. Uh, there was one called a walk through Josie. Um, it's sort of a journey of one man through the town with past all the iconic sites that we know and love in our city. Um, but the winning film was Justin Sandman's Today's Special, and mm. that was actually a story. It right. wasn't Spend a, a bit of time, dwell on that for us. What, uh, wh why, was that, why was that so successful? Well, uh, it did tell us a story. It wasn't just a montage. It, it was a story with a beginning, middle, end. Yeah. It's a fictional story of a, of a guy um, handing out flyers for a butchery, yeah. and he sees a nice girl. He wants to meet her, mm. and she keeps giving him the cold shoulder. And it's his, his journey over the week to try and get a date with her. So it's, it's funny, lighthearted, made us all laugh. Yeah, so classic boy meets girl outside yeah. butchery kind of story, exactly. which, is, which is really nice. <laughs> Would something like that have been well scripted? Uh, you, you can't just go in, uh, even if you've got you know, a minute to three minutes to play with. You, you, you've got to have a sense of, of structure with something like this. Would, would that have been a reason why this particular film did so well? I think so. I think, you know, I think also people do want to laugh and, and smile and see something that you know, tickles mm. their fancy. And this is what this film did. And Justin actually is a filmmaker. Yeah. So perhaps he had an advantage over the amateurs who entered this year. We're living now in the digital age where movies can be shot on your smartphone. And we live in such an amazing country with such fascinating stories that we have to shoot these videos, whether it be fiction or non-fiction. This is my first mobile short film competition. Usually I film with big lights and fancy cameras. The challenge here was to not have my phone ring when filming that money shot. Credit must go to Mavut Zege who acted and co-wrote the story with me. Uh, and also I'd like to thank the people for SMSing and voting for our short film. Without their support, we would not have won. This is something that we've done in Johannesburg, but uh, what about the rest of the world? Is this also a, a growing trend in other markets? Are we seeing more of this type of competition happening? Well, I think there are competitions like this around mm. the world, but this is a first for South Africa and a first for Josie. And, you know, we'd have to mm. here say thank you to our sponsor, Vodacom. You know, we approached them to partner with us for this competition, and it was a natural fit for them. Hi, I'm Lily Haley. I'm Facility. My dream is I can go overseas. And without their help, uh, we wouldn't have got it off the Let's ground. Let's talk a little bit about that. Where, where is the value for a big brand like Vodacom in something mm -hmm. like this? Well, you know, they have this new LTE service mm. where you can download, upload quickly, stutter-free, uh, and they want to push, uh, you know, the, the fact that we can do this and use our mobile phones for so much more than we already are. Uh, I, I, you know, you can watch films on your phone now, and they will be providing content in the near future. 
So I think, you know, they just got behind us and we're very grateful mm. they did. I think we, this was our first year. I hope next year will be bigger and better. We learned a lot this time and we're going to tweak it and make it better for mm. 2014. Well, uh, Lisa Henry, thank you very much uh, for the uh, insight. Uh, we've put, uh, by the way, the links to the three winning videos on the Mags on Media Facebook page. Pay us a visit and uh, tell us what you think. Coming up on the program, how a beer commercial inspired a real-life story. Normally, it's the other way around. Thank <laughs> you.